Hey friends, does this style catch your attention? I've loved dressing like this since I was a student. I think at that time it made me feel more mature. Maybe people would give a young guy like me respect. I don't know. I also felt more confident wearing shirts, chinos, or jackets. Maybe it was the clean preppy look. I just liked it. But if I'm being honest right now, I thought I was doing it right back then. But I've learned a lot over the past 15 years or so. Sometimes I look back at those pictures and I want to cringe a little bit. But hey, it's a journey. I learned a lot and actually I enjoyed the process. Fast forward to the present and we have technology, which gives us the ability to find information and of course products we like online. But what if you don't know exactly how to get started? You can spend a few years experimenting on what works and blow a little bit of money like I did, or you can keep watching this video. I put together a minimal capsule collection of only eight items and some styling tips making it easy for you to get what you need, nothing you don't need, and simply start dressing like this so you can look good, feel good, and be confident with whatever your life throws at you. This video is intended for those of you who are starting from scratch. That's right, nothing. Maybe you're going to go to university and you need a little bit of an upgrade. Perhaps you're a student transitioning to the real world and you don't own a single dress shirt. Maybe you want to change from that street style to a little bit more classy style. Whatever your reason, let's go over these eight essential items. They're really easy to get and they're going to make your life more stylish, convenient, and it'll be really easy to get dressed. After, I'll go over three different scenarios or occasions and what I'd wear using only these eight capsule pieces. The first item is a white shirt. This is the most fundamental piece to look smart and clean. A collar is gonna frame your face and bring attention to all the right places. A white shirt can also be very chic and very sexy. I'd recommend either an Oxford cotton button down or a white poplin with a semi-spread collar. This one's gonna be a little bit more casual than this one. However, they're both white shirts. You can wear them both with a suit, with or without a tie, and even can style them a little bit more casually if you'd like. No need to overcomplicate things. The second item, and probably one of my favorites and most worn items, is the denim shirt. This is great because it can be dressed up or dressed down, so it's perfect if you're just starting to get into this style. It gives you a lot of options. You can wear it with a suit, wear it with chinos, denim on denim, whatever, it's easy. Denim is also a really sturdy fabric, so you don't have to be too delicate with it, and it's really easy to care for. One thing I love is how the denim fades after you wear it several times. It gives it that lived-in kind of look. So really, if you get a denim shirt, wear it as much as you can. Don't treat it like a pair of new white sneakers. Third is gonna be a polo. This is a great way to upgrade from a basic t-shirt. So again, you have a collar on a polo, so that gives you a little bit more completed look and brings attention to your face. It's definitely a step up in terms of formality and elegance from a t-shirt. Light colors, dark colors, go for what you like. Just make sure the collar isn't too small. It might make your face look bigger proportionally. And stay away from oversized logos on the chest. It's really distracting. Beige chinos. These are my go-to when I want to look smart but not overdressed. They straddle the line between casual jeans and a formal suit. It's also very easy to match these with almost any combination of shirts, polos, sweaters, jackets, light colors, dark colors. They, they work with everything. I really like my chinos with a pleat and crease. It looks neater and cleaner. And I feel like a broken record saying this so much, but I cannot say it enough. That trouser crease, it elongates my legs all the way up to my waist. So it looks like I have longer legs and I look a little taller. I also like them because I absolutely hate anything that's tight around my hips. It's uncomfortable to wear and also a little bit uncomfortable for me to see other guys wearing such tight pants. It's kind of gross actually. I don't know how they can wear them. Victims of marketing for skinny fit. Sorry guys, but I'm here to help you. The fifth is going to be denim. This is a dark raw denim. There's lighter shades, go for whatever you like best. Jeans are nice because you can be a little rough on them since the fabric is super sturdy. These jeans are one of my favorites because they're cut and made like a trouser. So they're gonna look great with shirts, polos, jackets. It's gonna look a little neater. A normal five pocket denim jean, like your Levi's, they're gonna be great to mix into this as well. One note about all of the aforementioned clothing, it can be machine washed at home. 
so it's super easy to take care of all of these items. It's a huge plus, right? Sixth is the navy suit, right? I'm throwing the suit in this collection because you're gonna need one at some point in your life. Maybe it's a job interview, a wedding, maybe you're a wedding guest, meetings, parties, and so on. This will be the biggest investment if you're starting from scratch, but you're gonna get a lot of use out of it and can break it up. I recommend a four season fabric at around 280 to 300 grams in a plain weave or high twist. This is gonna be wrinkle resistant and really easy to take care of, you'll see. Try to find a suit that is lightly constructed without shoulder pads. This will make the jacket more suitable to be worn as a separate with chinos or even jeans, thus expanding the possibilities of this suit and these eight items to wear more frequently. If the suit is too rigid, like with strong shoulder padding here and more structured, it's gonna look more formal. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, for the purpose of this capsule collection and how I'd style it, it won't be in harmony with casual jeans or chinos when we break up the jacket. Now, although this is lightly structured, it's still perfectly formal as a full suit with a shirt and tie. The lighter construction is gonna be a bit more comfortable to wear in my opinion. So it's still perfect for all your meetings. I would highly recommend some brown suede loafers. Loafers are a good starting point because they're a bit casual compared to Oxfords or lace-ups, but can easily be dressed up if needed. These I find super comfortable because there's a lot of arch support in these Goodyear welted shoes. More support than actually a sneaker. Suede is also very easy to care for. Just brush them and no need to wax or polish them. Did I mention loafers are super easy to slip on and off? so there's no need to tie your laces. So it's perfect for a guy if you're in a rush or if you're a little lazy like me. The eighth is a dark brown belt. This is gonna go with most shades of brown shoes and it's dark enough that you can even wear it with black shoes if you need. With eight items, you can simply dress for almost any occasion and look good. If you're starting from scratch and just now building your wardrobe, you might wonder, okay, so in principle, I know which pieces I need, but how do I put that theory into practice? Well, let's talk about three scenarios or occasions and what I'd wear using just these eight items. It's really easy and it's gonna look good. So the first scenario, date night. No matter if you're in college or married for 10 years, you should always have date night. If you are married and you haven't had a date night in a while, I'd highly recommend it if you wanna keep your wife or husband. Depending where you go will dictate what you should wear. So let's say we're going for some Italian food. We're gonna have a little bit of wine. You know, we're grown-ups, So it's slightly fancy, but not too fancy. With this capsule collection, I'm gonna first grab my denim shirt and my chinos. Let me throw those on real quick. Denim shirt and chinos. There's something smart, confident, and a little sexy about a nice shirt with a collar that frames your face. This will be an instant upgrade from a t-shirt or other fashion top. Since it's a wine kind of dinner, I want to be one level up from jeans and smartness, but not a full suit. So these chinos are going to be perfect. I put on my brown belt and my brown suede shoes. I think it perfectly complements this whole look. It kind of ties it all together and makes it look a little bit more mature. I'm also going to take my suit jacket and throw it on with this look. I think this really ties the look together and looks very complete. I also love the pockets for putting my phone and stuff in. And a huge gentleman move is if she gets cold, I'm going to let her wear my jacket tonight. So for the second scenario, let's say I'm going on a business trip, a client meeting. Maybe for your younger viewers out there, you have a job interview to go to. So for that one, I'd go with a full suit and white shirt. I have the full suit on and a white shirt. If it's client meeting or those I'm meeting are conservative and I know they're gonna be in a full suit, I will reciprocate and wear a full suit too. If I think those I'm gonna meet are slightly more casual, but it's a professional setting, I'm still gonna wear a blue suit and white shirt because I feel like being a little underdressed is far more disastrous than being slightly overdressed, especially for job interviews. My advice is know your audience. If everyone in the room will be wearing a suit, You'd feel a bit awkward if you were the odd one out, wouldn't you? With this suit, I'm also wearing my brown suede loafers, and I think it looks perfectly fine with a full suit. I could wear a brown belt if I wanted to, but the pants fit just right, 
And I feel like going without a belt looks a little bit more formal and clean. So with my full suits, I rarely wear a belt. Now I'm ready for that important meeting, or maybe you're ready for that interview. I feel confident and I'm ready to seize the day. All right, for the third scenario, let's say it's casual Friday. I'm going to work, I'll be at the office. Then I'm gonna go out with some friends for dinner and drinks. I'm a guy and I like to be practical when I get dressed each day. I wanna be comfortable. I wanna look like I fit in without standing out. And I don't wanna change between work and going out. If I'm in a full suit, my friends might think that's a little too formal. I'm gonna grab my polo and my jeans for casual Friday. You have it, I'm in my polo. <laughs> so here it is, I'm in my polo. It means I'm still in business for the day and I'll be presentable at the office. I'm in my jeans, it's casual Friday, so why not? I always like leaning towards slightly neater look, so I went with my brown loafers and a brown belt. This way, I look casual enough when I meet my immature friends for drinks tonight, but professional enough while I'm at work at the office for the day. So there you guys have it. Three scenarios that might match your lifestyle and outfits I'd wear using this easy eight item capsule. If you found this useful, please like it, smash that subscribe button. Hey, even better, if you find this useful, share it with someone you love, someone you care about, and someone you think should dress a little bit more stylish. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Take care, guys.